Hello there my fellow YouTubers, this is Simply Tutorials and in this tutorial and we're continuing off where we left off last time and this is how to freaking add a texture in Autodesk 3D Max 2016 now this is kinda different than 2009 and 2010 but I, uh, if you want me to just leave a comment and I will gladly make a tutorial just for you on a 2010 on how to do 2010 because 2010 to 2009 are roughly the same some slight differences but nothing that an average person can pick up on but anywho let's go ahead and get started and we're going to add some texture to this stuff so we're going to go over here um let me exit these off in the corner because i got to open them up again right here is material editor that's what i just closed out it was supposed to open up on this window. But anywho, let me go ahead and I'm going to delete this because this is from a project I was just doing. Boom. Okay. Let's go ahead and delete that. That. And that. Okay. This is what you should see when you open it up. And we're going to want to add a bitmap. So we're going to drag it and drop bitmap right there. Boom. And we're going to select the texture we want. In my case, we're going to go wood texture one, which is a texture I created in Photoshop. Okay, and then we're going to go to Ar Ar architectural. I guess I'm pronouncing it right, and drag and drop. Boom. Now we're going to drag this in piece to diffuse. Boom. See how shiny that looks? Wow. Okay. And this is where uh, I had a little bit of trouble. Move that over. There we go. And we're going to take this right here, this little circle, and drag it to the sphere. Boom. And if you notice, it looks great. But it has really cool lights on it. I mean, a really lighting effect on it, which is cool. And this is the part I had a problem with, and I finally figured it out freaking the other day. Because, like I said, I just got 2016, so I'm still trying to learn it a little bit. And hit this button right here. Boom. And you'll notice that it looks alright. We're going to exit this. And we're going to maximize that. And you got yourself a nice looking wood texture. Two minute tutorial. And half that was really an intro and a little over two minutes but most of that was an intro and me talking of nonsense for you to learn that that's just how easy it is we're gonna add another one just because it's so quick and easy drag and drop another bitmap we'll go with what do I got here eh, I get to pick and choose this time um, nothing simple Oh yeah, and um, for those of any of you who are wondering, most of these textures I got from uh, cgtextures.com. So I will put a link in the description for that if you want to. We'll just go with um, uh, Chrome, which this is a really crappy Chrome. I don't, I'm not very good at making textures. Okay, and again, we're gonna add architectural boom, diffuse map boom. And then, which by the way, for those of you who don't know, you can easily drag and move these up to wherever you want. It's kind of like and make it look a little neater. And then you can go in the navigator and just navigate to them. Very easy. And again, turn that on. Even though you didn't notice much of a difference, at least I didn't. Like I said, that is a that's a horrible texture, but. It gets the point across. Let's play our animation. Like a beating heart. Almost like boo boo. Boo boo. But anywho. That's, that's it. That's how easy it is. Don't forget you can rate, comment, subscribe. Like I said in the last video. There is a comment section. If you want to see something cool. Something interesting. I'm your guy. That's what I do. Um, if you have any problems, which I don't see how, it's relatively easy, but if you do have any problems, because there are some people out there 
that just don't understand. There are some people out there where they did something before trying to get this to work and they ended up messing up the whole process. Um, just contact me via comments or contact me via my YouTube PMs. Um, private messaging for those of you who don't know, which is kind of hard to believe if you don't know it. But like I said, you know, do that and I will gladly get back in touch with you. I'm going to do my best to answer every question I can. This is Simply Tutorial, and I shall see you next time.